Hi, this is Maeve Hamrick. Uh, I wanted to put together a simple video about how I browse the web. I, I live in the terminal. I use GUIs, but after growing up with Unix and TOPS20 as a kid, I feel more productive and comfortable using a text interface and uh, storing, um, uh, storing data in local files. Um, you know, people who know me know that I really like Emacs. I've been using Emacs for 40 years. I used it before there's a good new Emacs. I've gotten used to its warts and rough patches. Uh, so I'm not trying to tell you to drop your graphical browser and use the terminal. You can if you want to. <laughs> it is an experience that works. Uh, so to browse text-heavy sites on the web, uh, I use Emacs. Uh, one thing I like about Emacs is it's pretty tweakable and uh, I put together a cheat sheet for all the tweaks I made. And then down at the bottom of uh, uh, my cheat sheet is a list of sites I commonly visit. So Bobcat is a page I put together and uh, is hosted up on GitHub. Uh, and it's essentially just a curated list of, uh, of uh, pages that render well in text-based uh, browsers like Lynx or Emacs U. Um, so let's look at the NPR site. The NPR site, I mean, this is great. It's uh, a low noise version of the NPR main page. There's no images, it's text only. Um, and uh, I mean, you saw how quickly it, it rendered. Um, I'm going to try and find a non political hot button <laughs> uh, article. Okay, I don't think. I don't think roller coasters are political yet. So yeah, you saw that. I mean, it just it rendered really quickly. I like that. And um, another thing that's really nice is that uh, if I wanted to uh, bookmark this page, I could just use the plain old bookmark feature. But if I wanted to put a whole bunch of bookmarks in a text file, maybe because they're all related to the same content, you know, I could just uh, you know copy the link. Uh, to the current page, and uh, I'm just going to go over here to a scratch buffer, and you know, pretend that I'm writing a paper about roller coaster safety. You know, blah blah blah. Right, and then uh, you know, and then I could collect links uh, in a text file. Um, now I have done that already with. Uh, Let's see if I got it here. Janet, yeah. So Janet is a programming language I'm learning, um, and I have this page that just has some links to various pages. So uh, uh, oh, let's look at Ian Henry's. Um, and then if I go down here, put the cursor above the URL, uh, and hit the very obvious key sequence of Control C, Control F, return, uh, and there it goes. Okay. Uh, Wow, it seems to be taking a while. Um, some pages take a while to render. Um, okay, it wasn't too bad. Uh, but, you know, eh, it's not perfect. Uh, but, yeah, so, I mean, you saw that... Oh, wait, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go L for back. Oh, nope. Oh, that's right, because that was a different uh, file. Yeah, so, I mean, you can see how I can uh, basically have uh, curated lists... Of book of bookmarks of links uh, with notes, which is kind of an enhanced experience from the typical bookmark list. Um, and you know that's basically it. That's that's what I like. I uh, uh, have an integrated editor with a web browser. I don't necessarily recommend it for graphics heavy sites. I don't use Emacs to look at YouTube. Uh, you can actually do images. Um, but you know it's it's a little bit janky. Uh, but what I do like is uh, it's usually quick. There's no JavaScript. There's no blinky ads. Um, uh, there's no JavaScript for user tracking. I'm sure you can look at your uh, web access logs and track me that way. Uh, but you know, and, and single page apps wouldn't work because they're dependent on JavaScript. Um, uh, but I. I really like it. I like this for text-based, um, you know, text-based pages or text-based sites, right? And uh, gets rid of all the cruft. And you know, that's basically what I do. Thanks for watching. Um, I guess I should add a link. 
I'll add a link to Lynx, which is a text-based browser, and U, or the Emacs web browser, uh, which is the Emacs editor that I was using here. And uh, if you try this and it works for you, please let me know. I mean, comments on the video or find my email, etc., etc. All right, thanks for watching.